Binary compounds contain only two different elements. Binary ionic compounds will be composed of a metal and a nonmetal. We can name these binary ionic compounds systematically. There are two naming schemes depending on the type of metal. Type 1 metals only form one type of ion. Type 2 metals will form ions with more than one possible charge. For type 1 metals, we use the name of the cation, which is the same as the name of the metal, followed by the base name of the nonmetal with an IDE ending. For example, NaCl is sodium chloride. We change the INE ending in chlorine to the IDE ending of chloride to make it an anion. Another example would be Al2O3. Our metal is aluminum, and we change the ending of oxygen to oxide. So the name of our ionic compound is aluminum oxide. Since type 2 metals have more than one possible charge, we need to indicate the charge on the metal in Roman numerals within the name of the compound. For example, let's name CuCl2. Copper is a type 2 metal because it can form more than one possible ion. So we need to use the charge of our anion to determine the charge on copper. We know that the formula unit is electrically neutral, so the charge on one copper ion plus the charge on two chloride ions must equal zero. From the periodic table, chloride has a one minus charge. So this copper ion must have a two plus charge. When we name this ionic compound, we put the charge of two in Roman numerals after the copper. We don't need a space between copper and our parentheses. So our name for this compound is copper two chloride. Our alkali metals and alkaline earth metals are type one metals. Alkali metals all form a cation with a one plus charge, and alkaline earth metals all form a cation with a two plus charge. We also have five elements that form a tetra shape in the periodic table that are type one metals. They are aluminum, gallium, zinc, cadmium, and silver. Aluminum and gallium have a three plus charge. Zinc and cadmium have a two plus charge, and silver has a one plus charge. If the metal is not on this list of type one metals, we can assume it is a type two metal. One unique type two metal to take note of is mercury. Mercury can either form a two plus or a one plus ion. However, mercury one shows up as Hg two two plus instead of just Hg+. So if we write the formula for mercury-1 bromide, we know mercury-1 is Hg2-2+, and bromide is Br-. So we need two bromide ions to offset the charge of mercury. Our formula becomes Hg2-Br2. This may look like an exception to our rule that we want the lowest whole number ratio of ions, but we have to remember that the formula for mercury 1 is actually Hg2 2 plus.